16 year old me. You're doing okay. You're strong, but there are some things I want you to know. I wish I'd known. That one bad sunburn before you turn 18 doubles your chances of developing melanoma. That fair skin and red hair means that you're at a higher risk of getting it. As if ginger people didn't have enough problems. That you're at higher risk if you've got more than 50 moles. And if you have a weakened immune system or a family history of skin cancer. As nice as it sounds to lie out in the sun, it's important to take certain precautions to keep our skin safe in the elements. And May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month, and we've invited skin cancer specialists, Dr. Michael Trauner and Katherine Lenz, in for some advice for us today. Welcome, guys. Well, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, this is such an important topic. So why, uh, Michael, is it so important during Skin Cancer Awareness Month for people to, to pay attention to this? Well, it's because this is the time of year where people are starting to think about the time they're going to spend outdoors. So mm -hmm. we're trying to raise awareness so people protect their skin appropriately. And skin cancer is very, very common. One in five Americans will actually be diagnosed with skin cancer at some time during their lifetime. And if we look at those statistics, three and a half to five million skin cancers are diagnosed each year in the United States alone. That means that every day, 9,000 new patients are being diagnosed with skin cancer. Wow. But on the brighter note, and the good news is, is skin cancers are the most preventable of all, skin, of all cancers. And when they're diagnosed early and screened early, they're easily treated with high cure rates and great outcomes. Awesome to hear. So what are some of those symptoms that we should be watching for so we can get it treated quickly if we have well, it? Most skin cancers are not life-threatening, and commonly a skin cancer can appear anywhere on the skin, and it can be a sore that is not healing, a scabbing or bleeding lesion, or a mole that's changing in color, shape, size, appearance, or a new mole that maybe we haven't had and we've noticed, oh, I have a new dark spot mm -hmm. on my skin. I personally recommend that everyone get familiar with their skin and take a look, take time to look in the mirror, maybe get a hand mirror to look at your backside or get your partner involved yeah. and have them look at your backside. Get familiar and if you haven't done that, maybe do it daily or daily for a week, uh, weekly for a month and then monthly and then you're very familiar. So if you notice a change or you see something that doesn't look like it had been there a month ago or a week ago, it's a good idea to get it evaluated. And I told you that I did that. Yes, and, and it you ended did. up being precancerous. Yes. So it was a good thing. Um, that's such good information. And if someone does see some symptoms, what should they do? Where should they go? My recommendation is that if you have a concerning lesion, as you did, that you immediately see a skin cancer specialist, a dermatologist. Um, if you're Un unsure regarding your insurance, like who do I go to, call your dermatologist and if you don't have a dermatologist you can um, contact the American Academy of Dermatology, you can look for a dermatologist in your area, contact them and if you need to have a referral from your primary doctor they'll let you know. Okay and you guys are actually having an event that's going to be offering some free um, skin cancer screening. Tell me a little bit about the event and why you're offering it for free. Well. The, the history behind this is, is the rise in skin cancer rates began way back in the 1980s. And dermatologists that were part of the American Academy of Dermatology recognized that we need to have more public awareness so more people know what to look out for. Okay. So they began offering free skin cancer screenings and this is spread to involve all 50 states. Okay. And again, the, the thought is, is to do this in May where people are starting to wear less, be more cognizant of what's going on with their skin and we're here to try to raise awareness and to offer that to the Sacramento public. Okay, and when, when is it and where is it? This event is on Tuesday, May 30th, and it is at our Dermatology Center in Roseville on Eureka Road. It's okay. 1528 Eureka Road in Roseville. And for more information, if they want to check it out online? Yes, we have a website. It's sacramentoderm.com, and uh, is, that, is that the? Yeah. yeah. sacramentoderm.com.